Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest twirled her way into our hearts as the lovely, but no nonsense, fierce, feisty one on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, honey, and she is now living her happily ever after as a wife and new mom, and she still got it all going on down to the business front. Please welcome down to the circle, the beautiful Kenya Moore Daly. Yes! yes. <laughs> Look at you! You better Hi. come through. Hi, uh, beautiful. Look at you. Hey. Hi. Nice. Yes, so good why? to see you. <laughs> come on, have a seat, Miss Lovely you Lady. Know, I give a little taste of that little runway action. <laughs> <laughs> every right. now and then. Yes, you know? absolutely. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Well, you look. Fantastic. It's oh, like, yes. when did you have Thank a baby you. again? Like, what are we doing in Girl. the streets <laughs> with this all white, just looking fantastic? Thank you. How uh, is married life and being a new mom? Well, you know what? It is more than I could have ever imagined. It would be being a wife, number one, was like shocking because mm -hmm. it happened so fast and we fell in love so quickly. And um, that was an adjustment. Mm -hmm. And I love being a wife. But yes. being a mom... Girl. Baby. Ugh, nothing tops being a mother, yeah. I think. I mean, yeah. that little girl is like oh. my everything. She is my so heart. beautiful. Thank you. Her whole Instagram page <laughs> and everything. You know, you became a mother obviously later on in life. And what has yes. it kind of taught you? And you're absolutely giving hope to so many women who Thank still you. want to conceive. Talk a little bit about that. I, I really appreciate that because, you know, I always held out hope. You know, I always said, you know what, I, I was meant to be a mother and I'm going to be a mother one day and I wanted a husband I wanted a family I didn't want to do it on my own and I, I, I just was afraid to and mm -hmm. because I don't have a relationship with my own mom and I just in my heart I wanted a family unit right. and I wanted to know that someone was going to always be there for me yeah. and my child yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, at least starting out right. <laughs> right, 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 right. but um, it has been the most incredible journey and mm -hmm. I think for women, I would just say, listen, there's always hope. I had a baby at 47. Wow. wow. So it's um, with help of IVF. Mm -hmm. um, and my husband's a great sperm. We made it happen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for the sperm. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's and his great genes, too, right, right, my right. baby looks she exactly is so like old. Yeah. You did that, honey. Y'all yeah. pulled a butt. Well, come on, don't listen, honey. Yes. She got a whole beauty queen as, as a mother. mother. Got a and, and then there's that. Yeah. And then he's always teasing me. Oh, I think she's got you beat. I think she's got you she beat. She is I'm very like, pretty. That's okay yeah. with me. She's a cutie pie. Yes, she is. Um, if there's one thing that you could say is probably the most challenging thing that you didn't know mm. before you gave birth to the baby that oh. you're experiencing now, what would that be? Wow, that I didn't know. Um... I think, initially, I think when I was pregnant, I didn't realize that I would actually go through like depression. Mm -hmm. I think in the beginning, I thought, I finally got everything that I wanted, here I am. The baby is kind of out of the, um, you know, the the, the uh, zone where they say mm -hmm. it's not safe or right. may not, right. you know, right. um, survive. And I thought, I should be happy. I should be like yeah. celebrating every day and just having so much fun and being a great pregnant woman. Right. And I was so depressed mm -hmm. at first. Wow. And I never expected that. Yes. I never saw that coming. Yeah. But I know now it was hormones. Yes. But many women go through it and yeah. I just didn't yeah, know that they it don't actually happen yeah. to me yep, because I'm thinking I finally got what I wanted and now after 46 you know, years mm -hmm. that it would be different for me, right. but it wasn't. Wow. Right, you know, you referenced your mother and how you did not have a relationship with her. What uh, were you able to take from the, the lack thereof and now try to implement and or change in the relationship that you mm. foster with your own daughter? That's a great question. Um, you know what, just love, being there. Um, we were both crying last night. <laughs> she was in pain and I just felt so bad Aww. for her that I was in pain and I started crying with her. We were both crying. Yes. <laughs> and, um, but for me, I just think I'm, I'm going to be there for my daughter. I'm going to be the best role model I can possibly be. Give her the love, affection, and the wings to grow and be whomever she wants to be yeah. um, mm -hmm. in her life. So for me, um, just being a real friend, mother, and someone who really cares, yeah. she can mm -hmm. always count on. Right. Right, that's beautiful. Now, how important was it for you to step away from Real Housewives 
to be able to kind of clear your mind to, to ready yourself for, for this journey, being a mom and a wife? Yes. Yeah. Well, as a mother, I could not have imagined doing the show and having my child at the same time. Mm -hmm. It was so stressful. Yeah. It was so much drama having her <laughs> that I nearly, literally almost died having oh her. God. Even mm -hmm. when it came to delivering her, I had preeclampsia. Mm -hmm. um, I almost seized. Oh um, it was, I bled out um, when they were doing my C-section, went from 20 minutes to three hours. Wow, wow. wow. Um, I had to be cut twice. See? It was just so many things along the way that if I was under the stress of doing a television show There's with no all way. the ladies. No yeah. And the stress of that, I would have never forgiven myself if something had happened to yes. my child. Yes, yeah. well, praise God you yes. listened to that your intuition. And that's a beautiful thing. You yes, know, uh, of course, we love having you here with us. And for those of you staying with us for the full hour, Kenya will be here when we return. And make sure you continue the conversation. It's just a Circle TV on all social media platforms. We're going to talk about our hairline and so much more. So the Woo! hour people, y'all are lit. Yeah. About 30 minutes. <laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are here with the one and only Kenya Moore. Now, Kenya, we were talking about the Real Housewives down to the last segment. <laughs> so the streets, the people say that there people is a chance that you may go back. Is that what the streets are saying? That's is that what they're they talking? Say. Um, That's what the streets are saying. They're always talking. They always got right? something to say, honey. They always got something to say. Well, you know. Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. Hey, okay, hey, that's what you're doing. Hey, you're like, that's <laughs> cute or whatever. Now you got your life stable. You might as well just go back, you know, go back and just be like, all right, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. I'm chilling. Right. right. So back, we're just going to split then off of the real house. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the streets be wrong. So let's go into the house. Mm -hmm. So the people also say, it's a rumor that the husband is just like too in love <laughs> with the baby. Yes. And that he's very hands on. Oh, look, wow. look at that. Look at that, girl. You can forget it. It's over. It's oh. over. That he's so in love with this baby and that he's so hands on. What is the difference between your parenting styles? Because I'm sure you're very, you know, attached to this baby as well. Yes. Well, first off, my husband absolutely loves. <laughs> our baby. Yeah. Brooklyn is in love with my husband to Aww. the point where if I'm in the same room with, if we're like next to each other, she's just looking at her daddy the whole time, Aww. smiling like, Aww. if I'm bathing her, he's standing there, she's just like looking at him laughing. <laughs> and, I mean, they just have an incredible bond. I love it though. It's, it's her that's first cute. love. It's yes, of course. That's that. what it's supposed to be. Yeah, like. like she's going to look for like man. Yes, yes right. To the point I'm sitting over in the corner like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, how long? How much have, time have you had with her yes. today? Okay. Yes. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Right. You know? Right. Well, that's a beautiful thing. He's a great thing. dad. I couldn't ask for a more dedicated father than him. Beautiful. He takes her to swimming lessons. Um, we we did a daddy daughter dance. Yes. We just do everything together Aww, as a family. That's so awesome. Great. That's awesome. And you're continuing to to find this balance. Let's, let's talk yes. about how you got this body back. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's get into the body Trying action. Trying to get it back. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know what, it's so crazy because, you know, as an older woman having a baby at 46, 47, I didn't know what my snapback would be, be like. Mm -hmm. So two weeks after I gave birth and I was still breastfeeding, I just happened to look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, you know, my tummy is flat again. Yeah. So I took some pictures for the gram. <laughs> yeah. You know, a little thirst trap here and there. Yes. <laughs> I love this picture. People no were sense. like accusing me of having like a tummy tuck. I'm like, no one can get a tummy tuck two weeks That's after fast. they have a baby. Your uterus is still three times the size. So it was silly, but it's a compliment really because yeah. it's like, it's, too unbelievable. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, you yeah. know, it just worked, you know, watching what I eat. I'm just really starting to mm -hmm. get into a group. Yeah, because thing. you had to heal from your, your yeah. C section. You do. I'm still healing, yes. actually. And um, I'm just day by day. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 But the yeah. breastfeeding helps too. Oh, That's the the good breastfeeding I haven't breast been in three months. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. 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 But it was helping. Yeah. I in think. the beginning, it gets the it gets best good. diet. And then when I stopped, I was like, okay, the scales are going in the wrong yeah. direction. Yeah. So let me go back. <laughs> <laughs> let me pay attention. Well, yes. Speaking of beauty, 
your your new hair care line. Talk to us about more hair care. Yes, Kenya More Hair Care. Um, we started, well, I say we, it's really me, myself, and I. Uh, <laughs> but um, I started the brand, you know, several months ago. I think I launched it while I was, um, I think in my second year of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. But I've always had like this passion for hair care. My grandmother mm -hmm. used to tell me, who just passed away. And your natural hair, hair is so beautiful. Thank you, all my no tracks. Get a Wait a minute, that. Yeah, yeah, get a honey. Of that. Her hair is gorgeous. Wait, no I tracks. had no idea <laughs> ever. No, it's my hair. Wow. But it's because of my products. I had a passion. My grandmother used to always Her say, hair is the bomb. your hair is your crowning glory. And so she always made sure that we took care of our hair. And it just passed on to me to like really get healthy hair. It doesn't matter how long it is, but it needs to just be healthy. Yeah. So mm -hmm. my hair care line, the focus is getting your hair healthy and strong so that it can grow longer, if that's what you want. That, I mean, girl, let me get some of your products. Let me tell you <laughs> I'm not so you now. this hair on your head is out of control. That is beautiful. It is just gorgeous. Thank you. Kenya, I have never. I did. I never knew that. I saw it down to the Instagram. Oh, okay. She was in the shower, girl. I was <laughs> yeah, like, girl, that's, that's beautiful. Why are you wearing wigs again? Yes. This hair is out of order. But everyone can have healthy hair, yes. and I think you have to start somewhere. And the and the fact that there are people we love our wigs, our our mm -hmm. weaves, our braids, all of the all of those things that help us, you know, be a different mm -hmm. character every day or yes. protect your hair, protective styles. Yes. But at the end of the day, what does your real hair look like? Yeah. Are you just as sure about yourself when you walk out with your real, real hair as somebody. you are when you're wearing the yeah, wigs and absolutely. the weaves? Hello, so, somebody. You have to take care of your hair. And, yes. and that speaks to Miss Teen USA, Kaylee Garris, yes. who just was crowned. And I love it. She wore, she has natural hair. Natural hair. Natural crown. hair. Right on top of that crown. Natural hair. I loved yes. it. I was just applauding. I just love those girls, the organization. I love the direction that they're going in. Was it I'm like very that when you, when you were a beauty queen? Well, were I was they? the second Black Miss USA. Yeah, second Black Miss USA, excuse me. In the same organization, mm -hmm. um, and really the first brown skin. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that it was a lot different then. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I love the fact that they gave me a chance and they recognized that brown skin beauty is just as beautiful as any other beauty globally yes. Yes. speaking and that we need to be just as proud as a deeper hued woman yes. yeah. and recognize that, you know, she's fine too and that one's fine too and mm -hmm. you know. And yes. And what we stand for. You are continuing yes, to be fine. Is. Thank you. Can we give it up for Kenya Moore Yay. daily? Yay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your family with Yes. Us. For those of you in the Atlanta area, she's at the Sally Beauty Store in Buckhead this Saturday. For more on her hair care line, please follow her out on the gram at Kenya Moore Hair. So congratulations Thank on everything. You.